Well, I just work and work and work, and then eventually someone says stop, and then we look at all the songs and then make an album out. I never really realised the power of a like four to floor jumping song, because I've always done quite slow songs, yeah. or like Shape of You is more, we'll, we'll tell lots and lots of bad jokes <laughs> when drunk. <laughs> like, yeah. I am sure. Uh, Hi, this is Bhavna and you're watching India Today. Uh, the person sitting right here with me needs no introduction. It is of course Ed Sheeran. We all know, we have been thinking he has a song for every occasion. So firstly, a huge welcome to India, Ed. Thank How you. are you? I'm great. Really happy. Really I can happy see that it. actually. Yeah, I, I love it here. I love <laughs> it here. It's so like, I just feel great energy whenever I'm here. You know, and one thing that I've always heard about you and which really makes all sense is the fact that you are very warm and affectionate and a person who is very down to earth and oh, I feel that I, I can see that already like it's been a minute since I've met but I can already tell. Oh, thank you, thank <laughs> but you. But tell me something, uh, what is that one thing about your personality which you really want to change because there must be something for sure. Uh, I don't have like an off switch with, with things so like eating and drinking I'll just like I'll overeat and I'll overdrink and I'll overwork and I'll over party and I'll, I just like overdo things. You You're know? an extreme person. There's yeah. no like limit to it. Well, it's it's sort of like, it's either extreme or nothing. Like that's, like that's the extreme. So if I'm like, I'll like not drink for like three months rather than like have a glass of wine here or do that, you know, like I'm very much like the taps either on or off. Do you do that with the music as well? Because yeah. What is your process like? I'm a very curious. Well, I just work and work and work and then eventually someone says stop and then we <laughs> look at all the songs and then make an album out, out of it. But yeah, last year I was doing five days a week in the studio, nine to five, writing three songs a day every single week and yeah, overdoing it. Do you ever hit a block, creative block? Because that can happen. It's never happened for me. It's never oh. happened. I've I've had periods of my life where I've made bad music, but I, there's never been a time where I haven't made made music. I don't believe in um, I don't believe in writer's block. I think I think writer's block is is uh, overthinking it and trying to perfect something and being like, no, this song has to be the best song. It's whereas my process has always been just write it and finish it, and if it's bad, no one has to hear it, and <laughs> if it, and if it's good, you you keep it. But I don't think you know the. All you have to do is sit down and start yeah. and finish. And it doesn't matter whether it's bad, you just have to start and finish it. That is something that I'm taking away from this conversation already yeah. because I think we are always looking to hit that perfect mark. But and you never know, like you never know. Like I've, I've sat down and I've written five songs and four of them have been, the <laughs> like the first four are bad and then the fifth one might be Shape of You. Oh. You, know, you, never know, you never know until you actually cre create. You know, when people write film scripts, like you have to finish the first draft and then you can go back and edit and change Absolutely. bits of it, but you, you, you have to finish it. And I think that's the key to creating anything. You know, before I move on to my, I have this 25 questions with Ed, which will be like a quick rapid cool. fire. But before that, I also, I'm curious to know when you're writing for yourself and when you're writing for others, because I've seen that you've written for other artists mm. as well, right? Is the process any different? Yeah, I think so. I think that when I'm writing for myself, like I've released a lot of music and uh, I'm always looking to write like what haven't I said? Like have I, have I said this before and have I made a song that sounds like this before? Like I always want to try something different. Whereas I think when you're writing for other people, it's more what, what they haven't said before and what they need to say and, and trying to get their story and message out. And I don't, you don't really worry too much about the genre of it because you just sort of like, let's just, let's just make music. Whereas I think with my stuff, like, uh, like I've, made, I've made bad habits now and I can't make bad habits again. So that's wow. kind of, there's lots of stuff that's like off limits now for me. You have to, I always try different things. And can I just say that we love the kind of music you do, the fact that you experiment and you collab the most. I have not seen an international artist collab so much with different uh, artists from around the world. Like Alman happened. And yeah, 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 of course. Yes, I mean, I'm a huge fan, so I know. Yeah, like yeah, that yeah. That happened, and there's so many others, right? I actually, I my favorite thing about my career is how international it, it's become. Like being able to travel the world, and I come from a really, really, really small farming town uh, in Suffolk in England, miles away from anything. There's not like. There's not much there and being able to travel around and to experience music from around the world is, is, has been great. So being able to work with different cultures has, has been great too. And please keep doing that. Thank so you. now we have to quickly move to the 25 questions with Ed. So what's your most favourite thing about performing in India? 
Uh, I, I, I honestly feel the love here. I really feel the love. Like sometimes I, you can play places and people can be very, um, uh, even if they feel it inside them, you can never read uh, how, how people feel. There are certain countries you play and people are quite subdued and like they're not, whereas here it's very, it's just it's just a vibrant country, so people are just excited to be. <laughs> we are at, working at, excited. Yeah, no, but I'm but I'm the same. Like I have the same personality. Like I would be like that at a gig, <laughs> just very like openly excited. Uh, what's your favorite song to perform live, and why? Uh, I think Bad Habits. Um, I think I've I never really realized the power of a like four to floor jumping song because I've always done quite slow songs yeah. or like Shape of You is more. Uh, yeah, like you yeah. can groove to it. You can groove, yeah, but yeah. like having a song that ends the show that everyone can like jump up and down to, like that's, uh, I, I think my favourite song to play. Lovely. What's that one thing you always carry with you on tours? Uh, gosh. Um, it could be anything. Yeah, I guess headphones. I have, <laughs> I have two sets of headphones that are like, because um, I'm, you know, I fly, I fly a lot. I'm on like 10 hour flights, so I watch a lot of movies and, and TV shows. And I always have one headphone case charging while I'm listening with the other <laughs> one and I'll kind of swap them wow, over. Wow, that's a good idea. Yeah. An Indian film that you have watched and loved? Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. What's that? Ah, ah, ah. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Mental. <laughs> that's an incredible film. Incredible film, yeah. What's your pet peeve? Uh, I think being rude to people. I fucking hate when I see people be rude to people. Hate it. Uh, it speaks a lot about your personality. Yeah. You know? uh, pick your least favorite song from your discography. Oh. Uh, God, I don't know. They all kind of have their place. Um, Something which is perhaps the last. Lib, what's your least favorite song from my discography? <laughs> Go on. <laughs> There's definitely one whenever I play it, you're like, oh, fuck, not this one again. <laughs> Um, it would definitely be like an, an early one, I think. Like definitely one from the beginning where you're, I'm sort of learning how to write songs. So yeah, I'd say anything from the age of 16 to 18, anything in that period. <laughs> yeah. I think fans can just guess maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A quote you live by? Uh, I think my dad just always just said like work hard and be nice. I think that's like a good... It's a good way of just living life. Just be nice to people and, and work hard and hopefully nice things will happen to you. And what's the strangest rumour that you've heard about yourself? Uh, I, th I mean, not, nothing for a while. It used to be like who's dating who and mm. what, whatever. But yeah, nothing for a while. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't really like. My, I haven't got my ear to the ground like that. I'm quite like. I'm quite separate from things. I don't have a mobile phone, and my, I have a small friendship group. So like, I, I, I wouldn't hear the rumors. Liv, what's the weirdest rumor you've heard about? <laughs> um, weirdest rumor was probably the one about you and James and the scarf because nobody ever knew. Oh yeah, I got a. I got my face cut open. Yeah, oh. and there was like loads of rumors flying about out about that. Um, and how and how that happened. Okay. Uh, if you came with a warning label, what would it be? Uh, we'll, we'll tell lots and lots of bad jokes <laughs> <laughs> when drunk. <laughs> like, yeah. I am sure. Uh, <laughs> if you were an Indian dish, what dish would you be and why? Uh, I, th I, hope, I hope a butter masala because everyone likes a butter masala. Mm, okay, I'll take the last five questions because I don't have time. No, 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 go for it. Go for it. We, sure? can, we, we can run okay. over. Yeah, yeah. Okay, your favorite collab so far? Uh, I think getting Beyonce on Perfect was, uh, that, that was a big moment, that was a big moment, that, you know, it was a song that I had uh, written 100% me and it, you know, was climbing up to become my second Billboard number one and getting her involved, she's like possibly top five biggest artists of all time, mm -hmm. her getting involved pushed its number one and yeah, it was just a really special moment. And also, I mean, it is a perfect song for most people. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely. It definitely lives on. Where do you find creative uh, inspiration for when it comes to music? I think you just have to live life. I think like life, life is interesting. Lots of things happen. You know, n no one, no one in this room lives a boring life. Everyone in this room has some form of tension in their life, whether it be family or relationships or sadness or how they feel. And like everyone has so many things going on that you, you can never lack for inspiration. If you could hear only one song of yours for your entire life, what would you pick? Oh, that's interesting. 
Uh, probably the A team because that's the song I've heard the most, and mm. I'm not sick of it yet. You know. If a movie were to be made on your life, what would you name it? What would the title read, basically? Uh, oh, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't. Yeah. That, perfect. Uh, perfect. <laughs> imperfect. Imperfect. <laughs> if one had to enter your house unannounced, what would they find you doing? Um. I'm never really, I'm never really in my house. Like even when I'm home, I try to be like out, out and about. Um, so yeah, if you ca if you came uh, after nine p.m., I'd probably be watching a movie. But I'm trying to, I try to be out as much as possible, you know, because I spend so much time in hotels or in cars or in Makes planes sense. or whatever that when I'm home, I try to be like in parks, going for runs, like, yeah. So you've collaborated with BTS. How would you describe them in one sentence? Gigantic, yeah, gigantic. Your favorite artist to collab with and why? Uh, there's a British artist called Stormzy, and I think I love collaborating with him. Uh, just because we're like re we're actually really close friends, and um, the the collaboration, the collaborative process, it never feels like I'm going to the studio with Stormzy to make a song. It's just sort of like we'll be hanging out, and then be like, so we'll go and make a song, and then we'll go back to hanging out, and it it doesn't feel like a a work thing, you know. If you had to describe your experience in India in one sentence, how would you do that? It's always fun. So I haven't had any bad experiences in, in, in India. India. Yeah. An Indian dance move you picked? Uh, well, when I first came here, like, I don't want to do it because it's like really embarrassing. Are you but, you know, sure it's like you're kind of doing that and you're doing that. And you're doing that. <laughs> I, I, need to, I, I need to learn it properly. Um, but yeah, you, the thing is, you guys all grow up learning different dance moves and like we grow up with the Macarena. That's like literally, yeah. uh, uh, the English yeah. people can just do the Macarena. <laughs> that is it. We don't grow up learning how to dance at Yeah, all. I think you're talking about this. Is it this? Yeah, it was. I, I just remember being at this uh, e event and someone was just like, imagine you're changing a light bulb and then do that <laughs> yeah, as the dance. That, you can, yeah, it's that. that. Yeah, I, yeah, 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 yeah. I got it. <laughs> That's okay. the only one I can do. <laughs> and I can't do it well. <laughs> a question you're tired of being asked. Uh, oh God, I don't know really. Um, I don't know. This, this sort. I guess. I guess it's just the like. Where do you get your inspiration from? I think. I, I think. That. No, but 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 that would be probably the most common question. I don't have like a band name, so it's not like where do you get your band name from or blah blah blah. So mm. I think the most common question mm. is where do you get your inspiration from. Um, but I wouldn't say I'm tired of being asked that. That's tr just what I like. It's not just you. It'd be like every interviewer ever has asked that question. Um, but I think that's just what you would ask a songwriter. I think. I, I think so. Yeah. I mean, because I'm curious to know your process every time. Of course, yeah, know. yeah, of course. Uh, lastly, of course, I want to know if you had to describe yourself, Ed Sheeran, in three words, how would you do that? Uh, God, I don't know. Um, how would you describe me in three words? Perfect. Of course, I mean... No it's, one's it's perfect, but No, no I think that you, are, you, you at least give that uh, sort of vibe well, when we are meeting. I mean, I... I have never felt this comfortable talking to a celebrity oh, for you. the first time, so I think that is one. Who's been the most uncomfortable celebrity you've uh, interviewed? Uh, Here we <laughs> go. <laughs> Let's spill the tea. <laughs> Can you tell me? No, too heavy. <laughs> In it's only for us. International or homegrown? Uh, both. Yeah, right, <laughs> right. right. Have had yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's off, what I was saying. Off camera. So, perfect is one. I choose. You give one and then I'll give one more. Uh, I think, I think, I d I think I'm fun. Like I think I think I think if we go out for a night out, we're gonna have fun together. Okay. Yeah. And the A T A line. I feel the A suits you. You're always that some. Oh, thank you. Like I feel that that is perfect for you. Nice one. Thank you yes. so much. So perfect. I have done half the work for Edgar. <laughs> <laughs> thank <laughs> but you. But thank you so much. It was really fun, and I hope that you have an amazing time here in thank India. Thank you. Um, lastly, for our viewers, for your fans, if you want to say something, just. Uh, can you say one line for me in Hindi, if that's okay? Yeah. Main aapse pyaar karta hun. Can you say it really slowly? Main, main aapse, main aapse pyaar, pyaar karta So say it fast. Karta Karta hun. Hun. Say it fast. Main aapse pyaar karta hun. Main aapse pyaar karta hun. Perfect! Cool. Thank you. Lovely. Nice this was good. Thank you. It's